Thank you so much for tuning in once again for our weekly podcast. I'm glad that you tuned in uh, so that you can break the word of God together. Are you living a godly life? Or you deny the power. You have a form of godliness, but you're denying the power. Now, when you look at the Bible, the Bible is full of religious showmen, those who have an appearance of godliness, but are actually ungodly. And this is the time that we are seeing prominently such people. God is saying, you see, you spread your hands before me in the congregation, but I turn my eyes from you. Why? Because your hands are full of blood. Because we commit sin. Jesus in his sermons called religious leaders. He looked at them, the scribes and the Pharisees. Seven times he called them hypocrites. And once he calls, he called them fools. And five times he calls them blind. And once he calls them snakes or brood of vipers. And when you see a snake, that's a representation of the enemy, Satan. He called them once. We must also avoid practicing religion without godliness and faith without works. But when Paul talks about the corrupt nature of these, these false teachers, there's something that captured my mind that I think is really a reality. That these men are looking for people who are vulnerable. He said they are liars, they are false teachers. We have to go out there and preach the gospel to unbelievers. Live a life that is attractive that represents the kingdom of God. He's not saying we avoid unbelievers. He's talking about avoiding believers who are fake, whose life is so de destructive. There's some people who are only looking for wealthy homes. That's where they spend their time. They pray there, they visit them more than others. Jesus said you know them by their fruit. Look at their life. Before you welcome anybody to your home, look at their life. I know somebody is saying, no, you should not be judgmental. This is what the Paul is saying. He says, such turn away from, avoid them. And so I want you to know that Christianity will never collapse. But God is looking for godly men and women who will live a godly example. Lovers of themselves. Lovers of money from such time away. But I just wanted you to know that this is very relevant in the time we are living in. That people are so much ungodly. They are about themselves. How about you and I? As a believer, are you living? Is your light shining? And we are living in the last days. No, we are living at a time when people don't know what's going to happen next. This is the last day. It began on the day of Pentecost. And we are living right here. And Jesus said, when you see all these things, know that the time is near. But indeed, we are living in the last days. People are so godless. And look at all those Paul listed there. Where in your faith, in your Christian life, are you living a godly life? Or are you just trying to be a Christian or a good person? And is the good outweighing the bad? or your influence with the worldly things. And this is a caution that all of us should be willing to receive and say, we understand it now. We are going to be cautious. We are going to work out our salvation with fear and trembling and to maintain our Christian life and live a godly life. The choice is yours. But Paul emphasizes here that from such Turn away. So if there is anything in your life that you know that is, has taken the place of your time of worship and you know very well that it's not beneficial and paints you as a man or a woman who is ungodly, you can turn to God and say, Lord, forgive me. And so as Paul encouraged Timothy, I would encourage you also, avoid men who do these practices, who are trying to live a good life, it's about self. They don't care about anybody. Now, something that he mentioned that I want you to think about, children shall be disobedient to parents. Look at that. I know, maybe I'm old school, but one thing I know is I look at the young people now, 
and how they interact with their parents. A lot of disobedience. The one who have their way. But the scripture says, obey your mother and your father, that your days may be long. Or fear. That's what the scripture says. So there is something that we need to understand. That we are living in the last days. But are we ready to change the world? Are we ready to shine as believers? Desire to live a godly life. Maybe listening this uh, to this episode or this podcast, and you're saying, "I want God to touch me. I want God to change me." There are certain things in your life that the Holy Spirit has ministered to you about. You just go before God and repent, and say, "Lord, help me live a godly life. Help me. Help my light to shine, and I want to shine and make a difference." I'll be happy to pray with you. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you for the, the time that we have had to break the world together. Help us to grow and to be godly men and women as we live in these last days, days of a lot of distress and discouragement, and fights and storms and waves. Help us to stand in the faith. Thank you. Bless us together in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you have been blessed by this podcast and I look forward to see you again in our next podcast. Communicate with us and share this with a friend and I look forward to hear from you. You can get in touch with us with the information that is at the screen, Facebook or Twitter, whatever you want. And we'll be glad to pray with you. Have a blessed, blessed day. God bless you. Bye-bye.